Prepare for your final lesson. Fun? But... The absence of certain people is telling. The absence of others... Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty, I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Marigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Eilhart. There will be a trial, due process, everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. 
you shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torture Earth. Put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. We will talk again, witch. The Philippa Eilhart problem has been resolved. We must return to camp. Wait here, Excellency. We'll scout ahead. They did to me. Radovid. To think I taught him magic tricks when he was just a boy. Free me, Geralt. I have to get out of here. Do you hear me? Help me! You'll answer a few questions first. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of contexts, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child. But only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. 
Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. All right, but if you're lying to me... Unbind me and lead the way. We must return through the sewers. The shackles stay on, and you'll go first. Shillard will raise the alarm. No, he won't. We'll be long gone by the time he comes to. Kill him. I'm not into murdering unconscious old men. Lead on. No tricks, Phil. I want to get out of here, and I want to... Can you walk? Sure you won't faint on me? I'll manage. Will you remove my shackles? The manacles stay on. Game. Who did this to her? It was Radovid's way of thanking her for the care she provided him when he was a child. I saw him with his army on his way to the talks, whistling a tune. Get me out of here! Shut up, witch! You're alive only because you're still needed. Philip has promised to help us in exchange for her freedom. And you believe her? Know a better way to free Saskia? What state is Saskia in now? I've ordered her to carry out Sheila's bidding until I return. Great. And Sheila will be at the talks? Yes. She's probably there already, making certain the Lodge's plans do not fall through. How do we free Saskia? I have charmed a dagger with a counterspell. You must thrust it into the She-Dragon's heart. You mean your heart, witch? Do you mock us? There is no other way! She must be struck with surgical precision, otherwise the counterspell won't work. All the blade's runes must touch blood, and its point must pierce a chamber of her heart. We'll need to hold her down somehow. Hold down a dragon? This is ridiculous! She's lying, Geralt. I don't trust her. Why would she even need this dagger? In a minute we'll hear that she planned to free Saskia herself. Any time you cast a spell or a curse, you must have a counterspell at the ready. It's a basic rule of magic. I prepared the dagger just before I cast the spell, in case anything went awry. A basic rule, but I don't know many mages who follow it. Where's the dagger? My quarters. In Geoffrey Monk's former home, inside a well-secured chest. I know the house. Yorvith, know any way to get to Philippa's quarters unnoticed? Through this sewer. We may encounter monsters, but we'll gain a lot of time. Keep an eye on her. I'll go ahead. There's something in there. I avoided this monster. No one knows we have damaged our
guarantee do I have that you'll set me free? None. If your dagger fails to work, or Saskia perishes from the blow, you'll be next. And be assured, it will not be a quick death. You dream of that, do you? This place looks just like the last. Same stench, too. Maybe. <laughs> Give us the dagger, the sooner you can lick your wounds, bitch. Pain-killing spells require focus and precision. I cannot manage one now. Die from the pain, then. Rest assured, no one will help you, nor weep for you. Keep moving. Geralt, you'd best check the room before we enter. I don't like this. Neither do I. Remove the dimeridium. I can help you. Shut up! Is this the chest? Describe it. It's heavy, covered in runes. There's a circle and candles on the floor. Yes. The very chest in which Geoffrey Monk kept his most valuable treasures. The daggers inside. How do we bloody open it? The candles must be lit in a specific order. I figured it out. My notes are downstairs. After that, a simple spell will suffice. Remove my shackles. Geralt, do you know this ritual? Only a mage can perform it. Shut up! I need to look at the notes first. After I light the candles, we'll remove the dimeridium and you'll open the chest. Now unshackle me. I'll open the chest with a spell. Neither of us can utter it. It's not something you learn in a moment. A trick is needed to cast spells. The candles are lit. We need to hurry. Do as I say before I lose consciousness. Try anything clever and you will die. Binding her, but she'll never be human. She's more than a Dwar. Someone who restored hope to the Enche. 
She's a monster. If you think she can rule a realm of humans and elves herself. Face it, Devian! You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Look out, Gareth! <laughs> Amazing fight, Gwynblade! Get the dagger and let's get out of here! Let's hope this blade will do the trick. A strange weapon. Never seen anything like it. I hope it works. Too bad Eilhart won't tell us anything more. Philippa will be far away by now. She was in pain. Let's hope that kept her honest. She's bound to recover quickly, and promptly return to conspiring. She's out of the game for now. Time to join the talks? I'll go ahead and see what we can expect. An attack. And burn King your hands. Will learn of this. Turn away the black cat. The audacity. In a hurry to see the deliberations. Here on urgent business. Your dress seems to confirm it. Excuse you, indeed. I suppose I couldn't much care. I've heard what I came to hear. And what, pray tell, was that? The rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne. There will be peace in the land. What more could one want? Prince Stennis is here? King Stennis. Crowned two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Prince Stennis, a poisoner, coward, and schemer. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demavend III, became the 17th King of Edirne. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, Ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Oh, oh. 